What is up guys, it's Gamers Light, and today I'm bringing you another mod tutorial slash showcase. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys about Equivalent Exchange 3. Uh, this mod is awesome. So, uh, let's get right into it then. Uh, so basically, you start off with the calciner. Um, you're just going to need some iron, some stone, and it looks like this. You place it down and you use it to make ash. Right now, there is a, currently a bug in, in, the, in the mod. Uh, where you're supposed to be able to make verdant dust and azure dust, but you are not. You can only make minium dust and ash. And if you look, there are only actually two dusts when I look up the mod. There aren't even other items. So... You, you can't make them. For instance, you are supposed to be able to make um, a different kind of dust when you cook gold. It just comes out to ash. So don't bother wasting it. If you're going to cook things, make a gold block and make yourself some minium dust or just use a diamond. Um, I found that's the simplest, easiest way. Just cook a diamond. Uh, you'll get minium dust. Uh, and to get ash, just use cobble, dirt, something with one, like one exchange energy value and you'll just get some ash. You just have to put some coal or some type of fuel, you can use wood planks, you can really use anything in there. Um, but that's, that's how you use the calciner. Uh, next, we have the aludal base and the glass belt, and that's used to make the complete aludal. Um, and I'll be getting to that in a second. But you also need this, a research station, which is just two iron, an oak wood slab, and some stone. So now getting back to the al aludal, uh, you're going to need this to basically infuse things, uh, like so. I'll take you through each of these. Uh, these are just alchemical chests, um, and you make it like that, obviously with a little bit of fuel. They're just very, very large chests. Um, you're supposed to be able to make the other chests as well, but you need verdant dust, which isn't in the game. So you can't do that. Sorry, everybody. Um, now moving on, uh, we have the alchemical bag. Again, there's supposed to be three tiers, but the lower two tiers are broken at the moment, and you can only use the top tier, which is just basically awesome. Huge, massive bag that you can just carry around with you. All right, moving on. This is the probably the most important, <coughs> important feature as of yet, um, basically a book and some minium dust will get you this Alchemonomicon, which is basically derived off Thaumonomicon, I'm pretty sure, um, which is from Thaumcraft, if you didn't know. Now, basically what you're going to want to do with this guy is you're going to want to take it and you, you want to right click, and then it should be bound to you. So as you see, the book belongs to J. Baron. Now, Next step in the process is to make some ash infused stone, which is just ash and stone. Then you're going to need that research station we talked about. One other thing though, if I just hop into survival mode real quick, you need to craft some chalk with some bone meal and some clay, just like that. The recipe was different in previous versions, but now it's not. It's different again. So next, you're going to want to lay out a 3x3 three three of ash infused stone just like this and you'll see that the chalk uh, lays this little thing down on the ground for you well you don't want it that size that size will be used later in newer versions but you want to press V and you want to right click so there you go you have that now what does that do nothing yet um, also if you press shift V it shrinks and there you can actually go even bigger but again the two not the one not in the middle the ones not in the middle, so the large one and the tiny one, are currently work in progress, I'm assuming. So basically when you have this, you are going to shift right click on the middle, and it has to be in the middle, I'm pretty sure. And now you have a transmutation tablet, which is this really cool multi-block structure. Um, now this is really, really awesome, basically. So this is where your research station comes in handy. You're going to need to use this guy to research everything. So you're going to want to put your Alkanomicon in there and just drop random items in. Now the item will be deleted, so if if you're putting something a very high value in, make sure you only put one, because if you put two, I'm not sure if it'll actually consume both, 
but uh, let's try to put two, two Eternalis Fuel in there. Eternalis Fuel is uh, very, very costly, uh, if you can see the item value. Um, so will it? It will. No, it won't consume it again. Okay, so you can put, you can just keep putting the item in, which is cool. So uh, let's just learn a couple, couple things. And then if we head over here, we, we do need to get another book. So real quick, if we were to do that, um, and that'll start cooking up another book. It's very handy to have two books. One you can leave in your research station, the other one you can have along with you, or in the tablet at all times. Uh, you basically want to have that guy with you at all times. So let's have it learn that. And let's bind the book to ourself again, and bring it over here. Now if we put it in there, we should be able to see items, but we can't. This is because there's no EMC, right? In order to put an iron ingot in there, I can see the lower EMC items and whenever the stone finishes. Looks like it finished. So if I do that, now there's stone there as well. So I can't see the HMLs field because its value is so high. If I were to, say, take out um, stack a block of movies here and put that in there, I can now see the HMLs field because my energy value is so high. It's up to 9 million, right? But if I take it out, again, I can't see it anymore. Um, there's also, there's some pretty cool features in this. So if I want to only be able to see bone meal, I can actually search it, which is awesome. Uh, there's display by energy value, name, ID, some really useful thing, ascending, descending, pretty awesome stuff. The middle um, will probably be used to charge items when there are items to charge, like the Dark Matter tools, I'm assuming. Uh, they're, again, currently work in progress. They do have normal functionality of normal tools, but other than that, I don't think they're really special yet. Yet, hopefully. Um, other than that, most of these items are all work in progress. The Philosopher's Stone, the Minium Stone. You can actually make the Minium Stone, but it is useless at the moment. Um, if you press the U on it, it just gives you a couple enchantments, which um, I don't think are anything special. That's how you make the inert stone, <coughs> if you want to know. Um, also, I've heard um, that the scroll of transmutation knowledge will uh, let you basically share your Alcanomicon items with other players. So, you know, if, you, if you're like working with somebody else, and you just have one research station and you're piping items into it because you can actually do that with, um, with something like a hopper. Um, so say that you want to, you know, just put a hopper there and you're gonna put a bunch of items in so you can all um, just have a bunch, we already learned bone meal. But uh, so you, you basically can all just learn a bunch of items. It will actually just keep going. And I'm assuming the same for um, uh, pipes from other various mods, uh, which is really cool. Um, I don't know if you can actually pipe in and out of the Aludals. I haven't tried yet, but I feel like it's kind of weird if you can. It doesn't really look like you should be able to. Um, but other than that, the, uh, the transmutation, the smud is basically a huge work in progress right now, but it's really awesome and I'm really looking forward to when it actually comes out. Um, also to note, Alchemical Coal, Mobius Fuel, and Aeternalis Fuel have ridiculously long burn times if you look. Um, <laughs> Aeternalis obviously being the long, well, blocks of Aeternalis Fuel being the longest. Um, this thing will literally cook, cook things for days. Um, I haven't calculated exactly how long it'll cook things for, but uh, you can basically put a block of Aeternalis in there for a couple days and just leave. And it'll keep cooking because the burn time is ridiculous. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I'll uh, keep you guys posted on the mod. Uh, if new things come out and I need to do another tutorial, I will. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.